Hey all, welcome back to Let's Play East 2. Last time we got through the uh, fire dungeon, and this time we are going to explore Ramia Village. So first thing you want to do is, I'm going to ignore any and all conversations for now. Go in here and talk to this, this person, Zalam. Yeah, I guess I do look like that. I thank you. I will gladly take some quality equipment from you. Let us buy a sword. 10,000 gold. Oh, no. Looks like I have to go on a long grinding quest. I will see you guys in a few. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I fought this part through well beforehand and just made a file after the fact. We'll just be right outside her place after I did all the grinding. Aren't I a genius sometimes? So from Zalem, you can buy a new sword. The Hypercutter. And you can buy a new armor known as the Reflex. With that, we only have 34 gold left. Well, I mean, I will, but... What do I lose? So just go ahead and equip those two items. And next up, what you want to do is talk to everybody in town. Yeah, looks like the demons took her daughter. And there's the bell, the bell of the sacrifice. And then there's Jill. I recommend just going in kind of some sort of obscure order. There's gonna be one place we're gonna go to last, though. Mudo. Make sure you get Mudo. He is the easiest character to mess. In this graveyard. Oh, that ain't good. I'm gonna go there last. I think her daddy was kidnapped too. Okay, my dad was not kidnapped, I promise. He's just fine. I talked to him earlier. Alright, so next thing you want to do in here, I think. Family of three. The shine of sacrifices, that's definitely a thing. Well, then stay inside, that's probably gonna prevent me from getting kidnapped. Yep. Up here, then. Talk to this man. We'll come back here in a minute. I'm gonna show you a secret down here and there. But I don't think it's worth it right now since we're not gonna be doing this isn't gonna be a combat focused episode, like there will be no fighting in this episode at all. Three days ago I had a really strange dream. In it there was two these two girls who told me a red haired swordsman would be arriving soon in the village. They said they wanted me to offer him my help. And here you are. Yep. 
There's still another gate beyond guarded by demons, so you'll need to get past them again to summon the shrine. As you'd expect, they don't take kindly to human passing humans passing through. Unless you can turn yourself into a monster or something, you've run up against a brick wall. There was a friend of mine, Sada. He went in recently. I tried to stop him, but I couldn't. Open the gate, Gordo. I'm going to rescue Maria, even if I have to take down every last demon to do so. Sada, look, I understand your feelings, I really do, but let's not do anything rash, okay? You need to calm down and wait for the right chance. Jump in without thinking, and you'll just get yourself killed. So you want me to just sit around in the vain hope that a perfect opportunity comes along? If I do that, Maria's going to die, and I'm sorry, but I just can't let that happen. I know all that. I do understand the gravity of the situation, and I feel exactly the same way you do. Then why are you standing in my way? Maria is my life. There is no going to be a there is not going to be a perfect opportunity. It's now or never, and never is not an option. Sada, stand aside, Gordo. I'm sorry, but I can't. Just let Maria die. I hope you understand. Sada, you. Make sure this gate stays shut. Knowing him as well as I do, I expect he'll give the demons a run for their money. But Solomon Shrine is many times larger than this village, and the layout is about as labyrinthine as it gets. I guess the best thing I could do help to help you would be to open this gate, but I'm a little afraid to do so. You may be strong, but I don't think you'll be able to infiltrate the shrine without a bit of forethought. Before you go head into the shrine, you should go ask Hadad for some assistance. He's got good head up on his shoulders. He'll be able to help you cook up a plan for of attack for sure. Huh. Yeah, so remember that house I started to avoid and I said I go there last? That's where we are heading. Yes. I will help. And acquire the Lila Show. Okay. So before we head off to Solomon Shrine, I say we return to Lance Village real quick. You're gonna wanna get some of your normal items, I guess. Just like the usual ones. I'm gonna cut to when I get those. Alright, so in Lance Village, I actually recommend using these ones because these are the easier ones to replenish. Give him four things. And then give him an apple. And you'll get the smoked meat. Oh yeah, crew berries. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the village video. You can get those in a... Uh, Ramia. All right, so back in Ramia Village, let's check out our notebook real quick. It should look a certain way. That looks exactly like I think it should. I'll do some off-screening. If I forget something, I will mention it. We have one thing left to do before we head off. Two things, actually, I want to show off. I'm going to show off the one thing before we head off to Solomon Shine, though.
So let's give her four of these. And then you for this you shall get a blueberry pie. And I forgot to show this off at the beginning of the video, but you can actually get crewberries. And I mentioned this, yeah, you can get crewberries right here. And I had them. So that's good. So now that we got everything like this, one other thing you want to do, so I can show this off, is head up here into this house where the old man is. Head downstairs. Go down here, open up this water, you will recover your health fully. All right, so last thing when I do this video is talk to him. You can use that to bug him down from anywhere in the east, right? Pretty handy, a little artifact don't have on hand. Alright, give me a second, I'll open the gate. Alright. Now, earlier he said that Solomon's Palace is... is... Hey guys, got some post-commentary here for you. Whatever I said after this point does not matter because it is irrelevant and no longer has any bearing to the whole plot of the store of this Let's Play. What's, videos will be resuming on Monday, regular schedule. Originally I said I didn't know how long Solomon Shrine Palace would last. It lasts just fine, the regular amount of time, as you should expect it to. Uh, Let's Play shall resume on Monday and they will continue week daily until Thursday, where I will finish the game. I will see you guys next time.